got your motherfucking dick showing on my dick. Space goes purple, and I'm kissing on your chick. I started out rapping, but 
on my spare time, I make beats as a hobby, so I put more work into it. So. Mm-hmm. I honestly don't have a studio at home, so I can't really record. When I made Black Man, I had an opportunity to record on my iMac that I used to have on GarageBand. Mm-hmm. And I mixed Black Man Radio on GarageBand by myself. And I was like, fuck it. I want to make this trippy ass lo fi project on the trippy to the South. Because it sounds uh, as if you were like using a tape recorder. Right, right. Because it had uh, this tape hit, like, yeah. like Black Man Radio 66.6. It had yeah. this really low fi yeah. uh, kind of quality. I just felt like at that time nobody wasn't, you know, giving any credit to mm-hmm. that era. You know, like everything was just modern. And I just wasn't, I wasn't feeling the modern day shit at the time. I was just like, I want the world to know what this sound sounds like. You know, I want to bring that feeling back. You know, that was what I was getting. Yeah, that was what I was getting. Yeah, that was what I was I'm a god, I'm no longer a black man. The black god. I got to have the world in my hands. I'm a god, I'm no longer a black man. Black Who man. Be the god of black, that's me. SGP, mystical, magic colors. My brothers on MTV. The black beat, the power of the soul. Protected by the cold. X times X, the G code. And God mode. As I try to expose the robotic hype beast up in the same clothes. Tell me about Florida because you, you often uh, mention in interviews that it's like a place of evil mm-hmm. and it's a, it, that it's a, such a fucked up place. And uh, uh, when, when, when you think about um, Florida, you think about like, well, it's probably it's like South Beach, yeah. some hotels, like rich people, and, and you show like a totally different side, like the dark side. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. And what's, what's, what's this real, what's the reality out there? Growing up, see, I grew up, I grew up in Florida, and I grew up in Atlanta. And um, growing up in South Florida, growing up in Atlanta, which is in Georgia, you know, both of them, both of them places dark. I'm gonna be real. Like, Florida is, South Florida is dark as hell. You know, people out there mentally is just very fucking detailed. It's um, it's like the uh, a uh, uh, rat trap. It's like, mm-hmm. okay, you see, yeah. you know, everything that look good ain't good. 
Atlanta is. Oh, it makes it seem like, oh, you go to Atlanta, oh, turn up, turn up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, you go out there, man, it's motherfuckers out there fighting, motherfuckers shooting, same shit in Florida, like. So, what I'm saying right now, speaking for the whole South, you know, the whole South is dark. The South is fucked up. It was slavery. Okay, okay, okay. Ride with your boy, ride with your boy, ride. Ride with your boy, ride with your boy, ride. See it, nigga, get it, get it, Okay, okay. See it, nigga, get it, boy, ho. Okay, okay. Ride with your boy, ride with your boy, ride. Ride with your boy, ride with your boy, ride. See it, nigga, get it, boy, ho. Cop the medical online, I ship it through the mail now. Living here in hell now, known as the motherfucking earth, aka the fucking world now. Living like a squirrel now, got trees and girl squirrels. So we trying to catch a nut now, living like a slut now. Fucking only clean goddesses. 
Niggas, I ain't fucking much now. Passion in my heart now. Cause I love music so much. So I guess we getting married now. Like Mariah Carey now. We belong together. Me and music forever in every weather now. Flyer than a feather now. If a girl wanna settle down, then I never ever love it down. It's, uh, it's interesting because like uh, your tour is like the Halloween tour yeah. and people often say that uh, you use these like horror samples mm -hmm. and uh, you, you seem to ha uh, be doing like a revival of this like sort of micro genre or horror horrorcore mm -hmm. in Memphis. Yeah. That was like, uh, what, what, what was that all about? Was that about sampling horror films? What you doing, Black Man? I mean horrorcore. Horrorcore. What you mean, like, why was I doing horrorcore? Yeah, like, yeah. Think about, well, horrorcore, well, which the name they got, they gave it now is horrorcore, but we, back in the day, they called it, you know, get bug music. You know what I'm saying? Or they called it mm -hmm. devil shit. In Memphis, they call it devil shit, which is called horrorcore now. But devil shit means, devil shit is basically like some dark ass evil shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Talking about the evil shit that's going on in their life. Mm -hmm. So, growing up in the South, listening to that, it was like, damn, you know, we going through the same shit. We, we witnessing evil mm -hmm. shit in, my life, in our lives. So. But everywhere in the South, we call it crunk music. We call it crunk, you know, get up. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's all I know, bro. Mm -hmm. DJ Screw, of course. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> to like wear all black and it's uh you often say that it's because you want to stay humble and it's to uh perpetuate like your dark uh, uh dark experiences and um it's interesting because now you have all sorts of like these swag rappers who really want to focus on big, big, it's bigging up themselves and uh it's something like you do like against the tide and uh, Yeah, like that, the hieroglyphics, you know. Yeah, you know. and then that's probably also connected to uh, the fact that you like the metal music, like yeah. when you were a kid. Yeah, the hieroglyphics, yeah, yeah. I mean, I added, I, I put that in and I added my little, my little twist to it. Yeah. Because Reddit Clan is metal influenced, but growing up in, the, you know, the, in the, a lot of black neighborhoods, they don't listen to metal that much, so when you listen to metal in black neighborhoods, they look at you crazy, like, oh, he's fucking weird, he's yeah, yeah. So I was like this, like, fuck y'all, like, but, um, yeah, Ready Plan is, like, definitely, yeah, what you metal influence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So what sort of metal bands did you listen to when you were a kid? Yeah, I mean, the shit, you know, like, the sugar, like, I don't do the sugar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, uh, I'm wondering whether uh, what's what's your uh, what's your opinion about Bones? Because he's like pretty big in Poland. I know. Bones. I mean, I mean, like he's uh he's pretty big in like the Polish vlogs and shit. Yeah. But uh, it's it's interesting, like. Uh, Do you, what do you think about him? I, I mean, I've been knowing Bones for like three years since he started putting the mixtapes out. I, I remember when he just was putting out mixtapes just for fun. And I, yeah. You know, after, you know, we had the boiler room shit. And um, we was on tour. We was on our rape plan tour and we had a boiler room. He just kept putting out videos. And, You know, he's he consistent. Bones is consistent, you know what I'm saying? And that's what I like about Bones. Like, he's, uh, he's really hard working and he, he's, consistent. He, he's like uh, releasing these mixtapes really yeah. often. He's very consistent. Mm -hmm. And I know if he keep doing that, by the time, like around this time next year, mm -hmm. he's gonna be unstoppable. And, and he's been doing a lot of stuff with Ethel Wolf? Yeah. 
And, um, and, um, That's another consistent motherfucker. <laughs> Wolf is very consistent. He been consistent like that since I met him. Like, him and Chris. Yeah. That's why, you know, I'm gonna keep it real. Like, a lot of niggas in the band was like, uh, why Wolf and Chris was always gonna pop up with everybody. I was like, them niggas put out a song every fucking day. It ain't gotta be stay every mm-hmm. Cause it, like they, they used to be a uh, part of Radar Clan and then like yeah. they sort of they, they, went their own way. They wanted the they wanted to, you know they like Chris to, Travis and uh, as a wolf. They wanted to be self made. Yeah. They wanted to branch off. But every group have a misunderstanding. You know, we got to turn on the toilet or whatever, but every every group gonna have a disagreement. People look at it as you know, you know, I was mad about it. Like, hell no, that's, that's my whole goal was to get niggas from the South and show the world that I wasn't the only artist in the South that I was on that same shit. Yeah, yeah. Like, I want to show everybody all over the world, like, it's a lot of motherfuckers who just like me. Like, and just the media, and the internet media, they want to hype shit up. Oh, beef this, beef yeah, yeah. that, da, 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 da. Shut the fuck up. So there's no beef between you and Chris Travis and You wanna know what beef is, bro? Beef is when you get a gun and go somebody burning. That's beef. You see how it is in Chicago? How niggas kill each other? That's beef, bro. That's real beef. That shit, that Twitter, this is real thing, beef. Yeah, that's just just bullshit. Yeah, it's just beef. And a whole lot of dope to roll tonight I'ma take your bitch back to the back of the lack Let me hold it tight All the windows down Riding around on your side of town Tray full of that blunt ash Got a trunk stuffed with them fucking pounds Riding around, riding around Rain falling, it's coming down Pinky ring go bling bling But my switch blade don't make a sound I'm swerving, just serving These bitches call it get surgery You girl say that she nervous So she pop the pill and she twerking she Will you, be, uh, will you be working together with uh, Chris Travis or as a wolf? Do you have any plans? Like... Yeah, me and Chris. Chris and Rob basically, he's he coming out. I've been turning him into that mm-hmm. So they finally came to the beat of the wolves. I don't know what we can do. Yeah, you know, right now I'm just I'm chilling. You know, that'll happen. Mm-hmm. You know, and then, um, uh, what, what do you think about like Juicy J um, uh, collaborating with uh, ASAP Rocky? Yeah, I, Is like, that, like, I like the song. Because you, I mean, I'm now you're, you're like a huge fan of Juicy J. Everybody cool. Mm-hmm. All of us cool. I like the song Multiply. It's really dope. Really like mm-hmm. Juicy J like both of them. Yeah, nigga. It's your boy Juicy J. Man, you gotta watch out for these old backstabbing. Broke ass, you know what I'm saying? Jealous, hating ass niggas out here, man, you know what I'm saying? Man, these niggas ain't no real niggas, man, you know what I'm saying? Nigga be smiling in your face. Back in the building, so crack in the living room. Niggas toe tags, so gats for a living. Do rag, keep a red or blue flag in the dinner. When you be with me, the one to shoot at you in a minute. Come to Harlem if you never seen Baghdad. First place seen a nigga sell crack at. Okay, so uh, is there anything you'd like to tell our fan, your fans in Poland? Like? Say, I love y'all, Special man. message. Y'all turned the fuck up. Y'all turned up last night at the first show. So I hope, you know, we turn up again. And I love it. I fucking love it. I'm going to decide to show you Okay, thanks a lot. It was great to have a chat. Thank you. Cheers, man. Cheers, man. Peace out. Cheers, man. Peace out.